you so much for watching. My name is Leela, and today I'm going to talk about the difference between Jamberry and a new home-based business arrival, Color Street, and compare the differences. I've used Jamberry for many years, and I've recently tried Color Street, and so today I'm going to leave you my honest review regarding both. But first, let's get into the differences in what these two different home-based businesses claim. Now here are the claims from Jamberry. claims from Color Street. Now, a pretty big difference between these two is that one is heat activated and one is not. Now let's get into the packaging. Okay, Jabberry comes in these packets just like this. And on here you have one full set of manicure and pedicure, usually with a couple wraps left over. And over here you have a whole other set, giving you two full manicures and pedicures. All right, now with Color Street, it comes in a very narrow package like this. And inside, already you can see that you have less wraps, if you want to call them wraps. These are nail polish strips. You have less strips here than you have here. However, every single package, <laughs> okay, there's tape on this. Ah! Okay, every single package comes with two nail prep wipes. <laughs> that just fell out of the bottom. There's no protective. Um, there's no protective film through here, so. Okay, so then um, you also get your own individual file with this, this, which I think is actually incredibly convenient. Now, inside of here, you've got two sheets of this. So you do still get two full manicures. What I will say is that these are much more temperamental in the sense that, like pulling them out, you have to be really careful. These are fragile. Okay, so here you've got your full manicure and pedicure. Now, one thing, if you notice with Jamberry, each rounded edge is identical. With Color Street, they are not. You have a narrow end and a wider end. So for some people, what I have seen them do is simply use whichever end best fits their um, the top of their cuticle here, and they will only use that portion for their hands. So they might use both of these for their two fingers. For me, I'm not so picky. I'll use the narrow end on one finger and I'll just cut this in half and use the other end for the other hand because I'm kind of like a waste not, want not kind of person. Okay, now for Jamberry wraps, you have to take the clear backing and try to match it to your nail to see which one fits best. And there are many, many different ways to apply it, but you absolutely have to use heat. You can use a blow dryer for this. You can use a mini heater for this. Okay, and because my fingernails are not that long at the moment, I'm just going to snip that in half. Now, actually, okay, I'm gonna cheat a little bit here. Thanks to Color Street, who conveniently has nail prep wipes with every single, um, polish polish strip that they use. I'm just going to use one of these. Jamboree does have application kits that can be purchased separately. So that right there is a big difference. I like the convenience of um, Color Street already offering you something so you're already prepared. Okay, so all right, so I'm going to heat this up. I wait for it to curl a little bit. 
I'm going to put this woo, on my ring finger as an accent now. I want to get it as close to the cuticle as possible and you cannot touch the underside because the oils from your finger will not allow it to stick. So you can never touch the backs of these. All right, I'm gonna reheat my nail. And I press it down on one side first. This is the way that I personally apply them. Not everybody does, but I can only share from my own experience. You know what I'm saying? Great. Are you getting that okay? Yeah. Awesome. I have the world's most patient camera person. Okay, and then I heat it up again, just to make sure that it is all activated, that the adhesive on it is all activated. Okay, and I'm gonna wait for that to cool off a little bit before I clip it. And while it's cooling down, I'm going to go ahead and do the other hand. I'm not the world's most coordinated person. Today at work, I tripped over a chair and fell. <laughs> and my boss was laughing at me and I was laughing at myself. It was an interesting day. Okay. All right. So now I'm gonna turn off my heater. And you need a type of a nail file for this. So Jamboree does have a nail file and I have used the, I don't know, I've used so much of this. I don't know how well it's going to actually file for me right now. So I'm actually gonna use this little metal file. And you do have to file down at a 90 degree angle and get off all the excess. And if you've seen some of my other videos on nail rats, you'll have seen me do this quite often. And I will say it is really challenging to do videos about nails because when I aim out, I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> Okay, now in addition to this, because my nails happen to be curved, what I also do is I always apply a gel layer. So I put a lot of fuss and time into these. But when I do, they last a full two weeks. There's no chipping, there's no fading. And I like that about them. Okay, but just to show you my full experience, this is what I do next, I get a lamp. Now Jamboree used to have something called Color Cure where you got this motion activated lamp. I love it. I don't know that they have it right now, but this is what I use. So I'm just going to show you exactly what I do. All right. So I take my base coat of gel. Try not to get it on the sides of my fingers because that just becomes a crispy disaster. just protects them and gives them some extra hold and because my nails are so curved it helps hold them down so they're not going anywhere okay now I'm gonna put this in my lamp for about 40 to 50 seconds and we don't have to film all of that because that's just a lot of boring wasted time okay so now that I have done that base coat I go back in with a top coat now before I started filming um, I did shake these just to kind of mix all the product together These gels are extremely thick. Okay, and I can already see I got 
got a tiny bit onto my finger. But. Okay, I'm gonna put this back in the lamp for about another 40 to 50 seconds and we won't film all that because again, it's boring wasted time on my video. All right, now Color Street has its own set of complexities, um, but you do have to measure up which one would best fit your nail again. All right, but I do like that they have the tab kind of off so that uh, it's a little bit, it's a little bit easier because it's like right on your nail. And you do still want a tiny bit of sliver on each side showing just like I do with my nail wraps. I think that one works. Okay. So these are slightly perforated, I believe. And they're extremely easy to remove. That's one of the reasons why they're hard to pull out of the packet. Because <laughs> I'm afraid of accidentally tearing them. Now this has a, um, a top film on it and a film on the bottom half too. So this is kind of the tricky part with the whole waste not want not being very careful. This has a base coat, the color coat, and a top coat all in one. Let's see here. Okay, here we go. Slight malfunction. Now these are slightly clear, but watch this. The thing I like about them, you can touch them on the bottom and it's perfectly fine. With the Jamboree nail wraps, you absolutely cannot. It ruins the adhesive. So one of the perks about Color Street is that part doesn't really matter. So that's something really cool about them straight off the bat. Okay, I'm just gonna set this aside on there. Now, watch this. All you have to do is smooth it side to side. My nails are very curvy and it doesn't seem to matter. It doesn't buckle up on either side. It just smooths right on. It melts like butter right onto my nail. I don't have to use heat. All I have to do is use natural heat from my finger and that's it. Now with the excess, you can either tuck it under your nail or you can file it away. Either way is fine. I guess for the sake of being consistent on this video, I will file it. And that's it, you're good to go. I'll go ahead and do the other side. Again, all I have to do is press down through the middle and then press on the sides. They don't buckle or warp. It's extremely easy and it doesn't, I don't know, it just doesn't cause a lot of problems really. trying to straighten it out a bit and I pulled some off, but it's okay. Now the one thing about these, they are slightly, I don't know if tacky is the right word, but they are a teeny tiny bit sensitive. So like for the first day, I think it'd be pretty easy to nick or ding these, especially if you don't use a gel on top. The reason I'm not going to use a gel with this for this demonstration is because Color Street does not offer a gel option. So it is what it is. Okay, now there's enough on here for toes. Let me talk a little bit about little bit about that. Um, I'm not going to show a demonstration of that today. I just don't feel like it. But in order to do toes with Jamberry, you do have to slice one of these into small pieces and then fit them to your toes or put tape on your toes, trace them with a marker, and then stick the, the marker traces on here to cut out the individual toe shapes, which is what I like to do. And then stick them on your toes so each one matches perfectly. With Color Street, what I actually do, you can just stick this right on top of your toe and melt it to, with your finger pressure, just melt it to your toenail. You can easily use an orange stick like this just to quickly scrape off excess 
and then use the same piece to just go from toe to toe to toe, just scraping off that cyst and using as much of this as you can along the way. And doing that, it's faster and more convenient and they, they last forever. Same as, and, and these also last forever. So that part is extremely comparable. It's just, this is more of a fuss to get on. This is much more convenient. Now, all in all, these are both extremely brilliant and genius products, and I do want to say that off the bat before I delve into the differences and what I like and don't like about both of them. Okay, I will say, let's start with the things I do like. I do like that Jamberry is non-toxic, it's gluten-free, and it's very safe for people who are very conscientious about the type of chemicals that they're introducing to their bodies. Now with Color Street, I do not believe that they make a lot of those claims. So one thing I like about Jamboree is its longevity. It really can last the full two weeks, sometimes longer, without any fading or chipping, and especially when you put the gel over the top. However, you do get that growth as your nail grows out. You get that ridge right here as it grows out and that can get snagged in hair and things like that. That part I don't like so much. With Color Street, it goes on very easily and smoothly as you saw. However, over time it does chip and it does fade, but it can take quite a while before it does so. And I will show you photos of the difference between Jamberry at two weeks and Color Street at two weeks right here. say is these types of products are they can be for different kinds of people if you have the time and want to take time to apply something that might require a little bit more fuss may have a little bit more of a learning curve to it but lasts the full two weeks I would say Jamberry is for you if you need something faster with more convenience you don't like the heating factor you just need something that you can put on your nails and go and you don't care if it fades or chips within a week or so then I would say color street is for you another difference between the two is Jamboree comes in a ton of different finishes you've got metallics you've got gloss you've got matte you've got clears you've got holographic you've got satin sparkle and on and on and on with color street you've got um, you've got gloss You've got sparkles and you've got clears and I don't know that they have any other finishes yet but their company does have room to grow so um, that's my honest review about the difference between the two they're both very brilliant products and let me know in the comments down below which one would you choose thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I hope you have a wonderful day bye bye Hi, everybody! <laughs>